Welcome to the world of fermentation technology. Friends, this discussion is regarding immobilization of cells and enzymes in fermentation industry. This talk is a part of NMEICD project entitled Creation of E-Contents on Fermentation Technology. Sponsored by the MHRD Government of India. What do you mean by mobilization? Word immobilize means to make anything unable to move at its own. We can entrap or fix something on certain supportive material for their immobilization. However, during this process, it is very important to maintain their physiological conditions. In 1950, for the first time intentionally, enzyme was immobilized on solid material. Immobilization of enzyme defined as the imprisonment of an enzyme in a phase that allows interaction with substrate, effectors, or inhibitor molecules, but it is separate from them. What should be immobilized, cell or enzyme? The selection of immobilization of cell or enzyme depends on so many criteria like number of step in the process, requirement of coenzyme, importance of contaminating reactions, cost, stability, and catalytic specificity. When can we use enzyme for immobilization? When the reaction is a single step. When coenzyme is not involved. When there is use of single enzyme. What are the benefits of enzyme demobilization? It is cost effective. It requires smaller reactor. It needs shorter process time. Benefits of cell demobilization. Do not require coenzyme. Enzyme remains stable in the cell. For reactions that are more complex immobilized cells will be used rather than immobilized enzyme. Methods of immobilization of enzymes or cells. Immobilization achieved by any of the following methods. 1. Adsorption. 2. Physical entrapment. 3. Covalent cross-linking. 4. Micro-encapsulation. Adsorption. In this method, enzymes adsorbed onto supporting matrix. A range of specific or non-specific bond force may use like electrostatic force, hydrophobic interactions, or affinity bonding to specific ligand. Advantages of adsorption. It is easy. It is simple. It gives high yield. Limitations of adsorption. Enzyme will leach with change in pH or ionic strength. Substrate with same charge as polymer may not gain access to enzyme except at high concentration, which in turn causes loss of enzyme. Physical entrapment. Enzyme entrapped in polymer matrix. The biocatalyst dissolved in a solution of the polymer's precursors, and polymerization initiated. Two types of polymers are used, polyacrylamide type gel, and naturally occurring type gel materials, such as, cellulose triacetate, agar, gelatin, carrageenan and alginate. Advantages of entrapment. It is simple. It provides variability of pore size for the immobilization of cells for enzyme. Mild conditions are used in the preparation of immobilized cells for enzymes. Limitations of entrapment. Viable cells bursts from gel material. Free radicals formed during polymerization are toxic. Covalent cross-linking. Enzyme or cell bounded covalently with matrix. Enzyme can bind directly with reactive group of polymer or enzyme and polymer bridged by the use of the functional reagent. The principal groups on the enzyme through which it coupled are hydroxyl and amino group and, to a lesser extent sulfhydryl groups. Many commercially available activated polymers are hydrogels such as cellulose or polyacrylamide, onto which some reactive group like diazole carbidiamide or azide attached. What are the benefits of enzyme demobilization? It is cost effective. It requires smaller reactor. It needs shorter process time. Benefits of cell demobilization. Do not require coenzyme. Enzyme remains stable in the cell. For reactions that are more complex immobilized cells will be used rather than immobilized enzyme.
Advantages of Covalent Cross-Linking This technique is easy. It gives high yield. There is no leaching of enzyme. Limitations of Covalent Cross-Linking Enzymes frequently inactivated. Toxic reagents are used. Preparations are complex. Microencapsulation Enzymes enclosed in a semi-permeable membrane capsule. Materials used for the preparation of capsule are nylon or biodegradable polyoctane or liposomes. Advantages of microencapsulation Surface area to volume ratio is high. Replacement of enzyme is easy. Highly viscosity substrate may be used. Limitations of microencapsulation Membrane-bound enzyme can be nature. This technique used for low molecular weight compound. Applications of Immobilization One immobilized enzyme amino acetylase, used for the first time by the immobilization method, for the production of L-amino acids. Two in food industry, fructose syrup is produced from glucose, by use of immobilized enzyme glucose isomerase. 3. Immobilized enzyme used in biosensor. 4. Immobilized enzymes, used in various analytical techniques, where one can diagnose clinical problems. 5. Accurate analysis of sample done with the help of specific immobilized enzyme, and sensitive chemical analytical techniques uses immobilized enzyme. 6. Immobilized enzyme or cells, used in industry for the production of various industrial products. Conclusion. Enzyme demobilization is one of the most hopeful approaches for deploying enzyme-based processes in biotransformation, diagnostics, pharmaceutical, and food industries.